morning everybody, Sam here with Fins Twins TV, back with another video. Just dropped the boat in the water, and now we're going to be doing some late wintertime fishing today on Lake Lanier. It's been about a week and a half or so since I've been out here, but uh, from what I hear, patterns are pretty much the same. Uh, there's definitely some fish out there in some of those deep spots, and uh, I think the fishing up shallow is starting to, starting to turn back on as uh, the water starts to warm up. It's going to be about 75 degrees today, so the first real warm day of the year, and I'm really looking forward to it. There's also a ton of tournaments coming up this weekend. I think there's like three or four tournaments. Expecting to be really busy out there, so I'm probably not going to stay past lunch or so. But uh, we're going to give that a shot and uh, see if we can have some fun today. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on this video and let's get after it. Way foggier than I had anticipated. Had a bit of a storm come through these last couple of days and uh, it is warmed up. Like I said, it's supposed to get about, I guess about 75 degrees this afternoon. Um, about, probably mid 50s right now, but Expecting to see some good changes. Doing things a little different this morning. Typically I fish some shallow spots to start the day, but switching it up a little bit. Figured I'd uh, start out deeper and then as the day goes on, um, it'll warm up. I think that warm weather really pushed them up there on the rocks. Expect to see that a lot today. Got a uh, some big tournaments coming up here and guys from out of town like to stroll by and see what you're doing. You got the whole lake, but they're gonna drive right next to you. See what you're fishing, throw a waypoint on it and they'll be back. Jeez. I don't know what these are, but they are fish all under us right now. Look at that. I don't know what's going on there. I don't think they're bass, typically. Typically bass won't do that, but. Oh, who knows? Normally out on deep road beds and stuff, I'll, on the ledges, I'll find fish sitting way down close to the bottom. Almost where you can't even see them down there. You know, they'll be so tight at the bottom. All right, no look at the first spot. There's plenty of fish out here, but. Can't see him get any of them to bite. There was there he is. Let's go. Pretty nice one too. Heck yeah. That was awesome. Oh yeah, fat one. Come on, boy. There we go. Nice fish right there. Solid first one here nice and early. Saw him up there on the Mega Live up there, way up there shallow. I like to throw a worm up there a lot of times. So we end up just tossing a swim bait up there and reeling it back and he ended up grabbing it. So good start. There he is. He crushed it. Absolutely crushed it that time. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one right there. Wow. Whew. That's a fat one. Jeez. 
spitting up crawfish, full crawfish in the water right there. How about that? Let me get my net. Get up here, get up here. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Come on now, let's go. That's what we come here for. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Look at that fish. Two spots in a row. Starting to get on a pattern now. Three, three and a half pounder. Spitting up crawfish. One of my favorite types of fish and I love it. Oh, I got a bite right now. Uh, I, uh, let me go, let me go, I just got bit. There he is. Get up here. Oh yeah. Nice one. There's the jig trailer theft right there. Twice he bit me and set there, set the hook and didn't have anything on there. So I don't know what the deal is. Maybe I need to downsize a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna catch it a few more times and see if he's got some friends down there. There he is. That's how it goes. Feels like a big on there, he's head shaking. Oh yeah. That's a deep fish for you. Come on up here, there we go. Nice fish right there, you see he's a deep fish, he's so light. Now let me show y'all something cool. That fish just spit up. That full thread fin right there. That little bitty thread fin. I came out here on this spot earlier today and I didn't catch anything, I couldn't figure out why. And it's because I had to downsize, downsize to a 3.3 .3 paddle tail, and sure enough, that's what they wanted. So hopefully it's gonna work. We're gonna look around a little more and uh, see if we can find some more. All right, I see the school again. Let's see if we can line them back up and get them to eat again. There he is again. There you go. That one might have some size on him. Jeez. I might have a big one. Oh, my drag. Holy cow. What do I have? Holy cow. Oh my goodness. If this is a spot, I have got an absolute giant. Oh my goodness, it is a magnum spot. Oh my goodness. Get in the net, baby. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me right now. Look at that spotted bass. <sighs> that is one of the biggest spotted bass of my life. Look at that fish. You have got to be kidding me right now. The gut on this fish is unbelievable. Absolute football. That my friends is what a five and a half pound spotted bass looks like all day long. <sighs> crazy out here. You don't even feel them bite it this deep. Man, when they load up, is it crazy? Guys, that is an absolute giant spotted bass. Probably the biggest fish I've caught all year. Man, I love this, but we're gonna release her and let her live another day. All right, let's release this giant for the Snapchat. There's more of them down there. I'm gonna try and catch another one. You might as well, hadn't we? <laughs> They're sitting down real tight at the bottom. Hard to see, but this mega live's clear enough. I can I can see them all down there. 
Yeah, they're down there. I see them. I don't do this vertical fishing much, but it's fun. It's slow, but it's fun. But that's easily the biggest one I've ever caught vertical fishing. All right, y'all know how it goes. I'm gonna throw the boat on the trailer and we're gonna wrap this video up. that's all we got for today's video thank you all so much for watching uh, i ended up being a really incredible day uh, the morning didn't really turn out as we planned a lot of the bites i was counting on uh there early didn't really pan out and i uh, ended up finding that one weird little bite there um, on the paddle tail but other than that the morning was slow but needless to say the afternoon completely made up for it there around lunchtime, I headed out deep, and that one hour we had deep, I uh, ended up catching two more good fish in that one absolute tank to close out the day. Before you leave, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comments section below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I'll see you guys next time on Finn's Twins TV.